So in our next video, we'll try to solve this problem. First, isusulat muna natin yung mga loads natin. So we have a dead load of 180kn, and then we have a roof live load of 70kn, and then meron tayong live load, a uh, floor live load na 270kn, and then wind load compression 60kn, so W comp, and then wind load tension is 30kn, and then seismic compression is E, since this is due to earthquake, so E compression. By the way, S right here stands for snow loads. Hindi yan seismic. And so be careful dyan. So this is 50. And then E tensile is 25. And then since wala tayong snow loads, S will be 0 as well as R. And so our first combination is 1.4 dead load. So A equals 1.4 times DL. And then our second combination is 1.2 times DL plus 1.6 times LL plus 0.5 of whatever is highest. And so we'll pick the maximum of LR, S, or R. Uh, by the way, this is a subscript. And so we have 683. And so this is our answer for number 29. If dead load and live load combination governs. And then for C, we have 1.2 times DL plus 1.6 times the maximum of LR, S, or R. Now again, you will just pick the greatest load right here. And then plus 0.5L or 0.8W, whichever is maximum. And so we have max 0.5 times LL or 0.8 of the maximum wind load. So we have max W comp or W tensile. And so this will be 463. And so this will not govern. And so for this combination, we have 1.2DL plus 1.6W, whichever is highest. Uh, by the way, since we are interested in compression loads, we'll just actually use itong mga indicated na compression. So let's use W comp and then plus 0.5 times LL plus 0.5 LR or S or R. So still the maximum of these. So this will be 482. And then for combination E, we have 1.2 DL plus 1.0 and then let's just use E comp for this one plus 0.5 L, uh, I mean LL plus 0.2 S. And so this will be 401. And then for F, we have 0.9 times DL plus the maximum of these. So maximum of 1.6 times W comp or 1 times E comp. And so this will be 258. Now as you can notice, wala sa choices yung number 30 saka 31. Now this is due to an error. Kasi itong coefficient ng LL, this should be 1. And so if we'll change that, let's use 1. Di ba magiging 617? And so this is our answer for number 30. And then for number 31, this should also be 1. And so we have 536. And then kung titingnan natin, if we'll use 1 right here, we can actually get 598. So since this is part of the choices, perhaps itong 0.5, this is just an error. So ito talaga yung solution natin.